Hello and welcome to Tony's Comfort Kitchen. Now this week I'm doing a yet another collaboration with Andrew's Simple Cooking, so please go check out his channel. The theme for this collaboration is wartime dishes. And my dish is a panakalti, which hails from the northeast. Uh, it quite often gets confused with panhagati, which is better known, but there is a difference and I will explain that in the video. So in order to make panakalti, first of all we need a baking dish and we need potatoes. Uh, here I have one and a half kilos of raw potatoes, uh, thinly sliced. We're going to line the bottom of the dish with these potatoes and slightly overlap them. Like so. Followed by a layer of thinly sliced uh, onion. Uh, there are actually two medium sized onions uh, here. Uh, we're going to do layers, uh, you'll see as the video progresses. And the next ingredient is bacon, bacon lardons. I have 200 grams here uh, and I've divided up into three because we're going to do three layers of, of everything. Now both pan haggerty and pan were, as I say, wartime dishes and a lot of food was rationed in UK uh, in those days, especially meat. So alongside this little bit of uh, bacon that I'm using, I'm going to use a meat that was probably more readily available, and that is tinned corned beef. And here I have two tins of corned beef uh, sliced up into fairly thin slices, or as thin as I could get them. Again, I'm going to divide up the meat into three layers. By the way, if you're wondering the difference between a panhagati and a panakalti, they, are, they have similar ingredients, but uh, there is no meat usually in a panhagati. And then start all over again with the, the potatoes. So in total, there will be three layers of everything, but four layers of potatoes because we finally finish off with a layer of potatoes. Now at this point, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Not too much salt because there's salt in the, uh, in the corned beef and the bacon, but uh, a good sprinkling of black pepper. Just keep layering those uh, ingredients up. Finally, finishing off with your meat and then your final layer of potatoes. Give everything a good squash down to make sure everything's uh, all nice and compact. And then I'm going to make up a gravy of, in this case, 250 millilitres of gravy made up with the old Bisto gravy granules and hot water. And I'm also going to add 250 millilitres of beef stock. So just mix the two together. And carefully pour it over and around the, uh, the dish, making sure that it gets into every little crevice. Then we'll put a lid on the uh, dish, or in my case some, some aluminium foil. And we're going to place it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for around 50 minutes, 55 minutes, or at least until the, uh, the, the potato is cooked and the sauce is bubbling away. Okay, once out of the oven, it is time to stick it under the grill, or uh, the broiler, as the Americans say. Now put it in there for between five and 10 minutes, depending how hot your grill is. 
and hopefully your dish will come out looking similar to this with those potatoes nicely browned and crisp on top. Why I man, that's a canny padakali. Get it dunya and enjoy. Thank you for watching and if you did enjoy the video uh, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell and you will be notified of any videos that I upload in future. So thanks for watching, take care, peace, love and I'll see you soon.